Look after the land, and the land will look after you. Destroy the land, and it will destroy you. In the 21st century, the land seems to be destroying us. Humans have also been busy in search of another land, and this might be where they rehabilitate themselves. In this video, we'll be discussing the one and only exoplanet discovered by the James Webb Telescope, which is almost the size of planet Earth. The Webb Telescope is bound to solve mysteries in our solar system, look beyond distant worlds around other stars, and also probe mysterious structures. This telescope would also help us discover the origins of our universe and our place in it. It might even be the mastermind behind finding it. I'm talking about the exoplanet we've all been looking for, the key to life beyond Earth, the milestone. This $10 billion telescope transmitted its first image of the early universe last July. Trust me, this was just the beginning. Since then, this telescope has captured a plethora of astronomical marvels, which include Stefan's Quintet, a grouping of five galaxies that is about 290 million light years away, the Carina Nebula, a stellar nursery consisting of brand new stars that were previously hidden, and galaxies with stellar bars, which are elongated features of stars that stretch to a galaxy's outer disks. I have to admit, that's astonishing. Things don't stop there as this masterpiece hit another milestone as it identifies its first exoplanet, which is approximately 41 light years away. And here's the catch, it's almost the same size as Earth. LHS 475b. This rocky planet, formerly dubbed LHS 475b, is just about 1% smaller than Earth's diameter. Initially, NASA's transiting exoplanet survey satellite had hinted at this planet's existence. And when it came to confirming it, the credit goes to the James Webb Telescope and its near-infrared spectrograph. This is what Mark Clampin, the director of the Astrophysics Division at NASA headquarters said, Webb is bringing us closer and closer to a new understanding of Earth-like worlds outside our solar system, and the mission is only just getting started. Don't you think that it is true? One key difference between LHS 475b and Earth is that though it is almost the same size as Earth, this planet is about a few hundred degrees warmer, and also, the makeup of this planet's atmosphere is somewhat unclear. The atmosphere. More observations are also set up and are expected to take place this summer, which would help us reveal this planet's atmosphere composition, if it actually has one. Jacob Lucid Yeager, a doctoral fellow at the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory, shared his thoughts by stating, there are some terrestrial-type atmospheres that we can rule out. He also added, it can't have a thick methane-dominated atmosphere, similar to that of Saturn's moon, Titan. Using Webb's precise light curve, scientists could confirm that this planet completes an entire orbit around its star in just about two days. What is astonishing is that even though this planet is closer to its star when compared to any other planet in our solar system, it is orbiting a red dwarf star that is less than half the temperature of the sun. Mark Clampin, a member of the research team, stated in a press conference, these first observational results from an Earth-sized, rocky planet open the door to many future possibilities for studying rocky planet atmospheres with Webb. Webb is bringing us closer and closer to a new understanding of Earth-like worlds outside our solar system, and the mission is only just getting started. Don't you think that's true? Well, all the inferences and results of this study were presented at a press conference of the American Astronomical Society. The James Webb Telescope is the only one that is capable of characterizing the atmospheres when it comes to Earth-sized planets that are orbiting distant stars. This telescope is sensitive enough to detect a range of molecules in LHS 475b's atmosphere. However, the problem is that researchers are yet to make any definitive conclusions. It is also possible that the planet has no atmosphere, but we'll have to wait. Maybe it is worth it. The Absence we have said that they can't yet say what is present in the planet's atmosphere, but that doesn't mean that they can't confirm what isn't there. To start off with, they know that this planet does not have a thick methane-dominated atmosphere. Did you know that this can be found on Saturn's moon Titan? Well, what is intriguing about this research is that it opens up the possibility of bringing more Earth-sized terrestrial planets into the limelight. This ability could indeed prove instrumental in terms of the search for other planets that have the capability to harbor life. The research team. The research team was led by Kevin Stevenson and Jacob Lustig Jaeger, who are both from the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland. There is no question that the planet is there. Webb's pristine data validated, said Lustig Jaeger. 
Stevenson added, the fact that it is also a small, rocky planet is impressive for the observatory. It was on August 31, 2022, when researchers used NASA's James Webb Telescope's near-infrared spectrograph to observe exoplanet LHS 475b. And the fact is, the James Webb Telescope did not observe a detectable quantity of any element or molecule. But this team has attempted to assess what is in the planet's atmosphere by analyzing its transmission spectrum. The observatory's data are beautiful, said Aaron May, also of the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory. Aaron added, the telescope is so sensitive that it can easily detect a range of molecules, but we can't yet make any definitive conclusions about the planet's atmosphere. The research team has also noted that while the planet may have no atmosphere, there are indeed some atmospheric compositions that have not been ruled out. For example, pure carbon dioxide atmosphere. Lustig Jaeger said, counterintuitively, a 100% carbon dioxide atmosphere is so much more compact that it becomes very challenging to detect. There are even more precise measurements that are required for the team to differentiate a pure carbon dioxide atmosphere from no atmosphere at all. Since the planet is a few hundred degrees warmer than Earth, the James Webb Telescope has revealed that if clouds are detected, it may lead to a conclusion where researchers conclude that this planet is much more like Venus. This means that it would have a similar atmosphere to Venus, which has a carbon dioxide atmosphere and is perpetually shrouded in extremely thick clouds. Lustig Jaeger said, were at the forefront of studying small, rocky exoplanets. He also said that they have barely begun scratching the surface of what their atmospheres might be like. The findings of the researchers have opened up a plethora of possibilities for pinpointing Earth-sized planets orbiting smaller red dwarf stars. Stevenson said, this rocky planet confirmation highlights the precision of the mission's instruments. He also added, and it is only the first of many discoveries that it will make. Lustig Jaeger agreed, with this telescope, rocky exoplanets are the new frontier. The LHS 475b is relatively close, at just a distance of 41 light years, and it is present in the constellation Octans. Mysteries of the Exoplanet So, this planet indeed holds a multitude of mysteries that are yet to be revealed. With the James Webb Telescope in hand, this is just a matter of time. Exoplanets have been the spotlight of research when it comes to astronomy and it is a vast branch with a whole lot of practical aspects. Exoplanets could be the key to sustaining human civilization. It will only be a matter of generations before the Earth is rendered uninhabitable, and time does not wait. There's a long way to go until we find a habitable planet. Though this planet has a similar size to Earth, it has a temperature that might make you break a sweat. Now, it all comes down to its atmosphere. So, what do you think about James Webb's first Earth-sized exoplanet? Do you think that it will be a habitable planet, or is it just a rocky landmass? I hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll meet you again in another video. Until then, goodbye, fellas.